Hi guys, PJ here, back at it again with another PC video. Looking to go through all the settings and options, see what's available on the new Injustice 2 beta that's just launched. I've not actually loaded the game up before, so this is fresh off the bat. Um, as you can see, it hasn't automatically detected ultra-wide display. And um, I'm actually amazed it's working, because to be honest, my faith in Warner Brothers not been too good since the whole uh, Arkham Knight scenario. So let's just tick these and get We've got a benchmark as well, guys. That's nice. So if we go to auto config, will it work? Will it actually fit ultra wide 21 with dying display? We shall see. Let's hit it now. I'm on Xbox controller. That works natively. Would you like to perform auto config? All right, okay then. This may take a while. Let's go. Is it going to benchmark itself? Let's see. Recording to an SSD here using Radeon Relive. And the game is installed on a normal 7200 speed hard drive. Windows 10 Pro is installed on an Intel SSD. And the graphics card is an R9 290X 4GB standard clocks. To give you an idea, uh, it's not going to be much difference between this graphics card and something like an RX 480. The hit from recording on ReLive is sort of 2 to 3 frames per second, not a lot, very very low level. So uh, we are recording like I say to an SSD so it shouldn't really cause any problems. So what we got at the moment then, VRAM quite high as it loads in, I don't know if that's a true reading or not. I'm showing 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM at the moment, but that's just loading in. Oh, it crashed, it just went straight to desktop fail so we can't optimize the video experience for the perfect game it doesn't work why am i feeling so much this is another warner brothers game this could be a disaster in it okay we'll try manually set this up and see what the score is okay so back into options what have we got we've got starting at the top controller config should be as you'd expect really let's face it um okay preset equipped custom one Xbox One keyboard. Okay. 
So we probably have DS4 support there as well. Being in a Steam uh, environment, this should be native for DS4. It does show more than one controller there, look. What else have we got? Release check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Gameplay settings. We have vibration on and off. Game language, same as Steam. Audio language, yeah. Lowered health bars, yeah, okay. Display settings. Well, that's what we've just set up. You can calibrate your HDR10 output, which is nice, like I was saying. Can we not stretch the screen using this? No, we can't, can we? No, no way of stretching the screen. <sighs> okay. Yeah, save, whatever. Graphics settings. Display number one. Yes, we've only got the monitor plugged in at the moment. No TV plugged in at the moment, guys. Uh, some of the games do give trouble switching between the ultra-wide and a 4K HDR screen, so I keep the 4K screen unplugged. So we're in borderless. What else have we got? Full screen and windowed. Okay, let's go full screen. There we go. Does it overclock? Yes, 75 hertz. Very good. 60, and then your res goes down, of course. We'll leave it on the full ultra wide overclock at the moment. V Sync, we don't need that. This is a free sync monitor. We can turn that off. Save applies if you've got a G Sync monitor. But you should know that. Let's face it. That's why you bought a G Sync monitor or a free sync monitor. Dynamic resolution. Oh, now there's a good one. The consoles use that a lot to keep performance up. We'll keep it off for now and see how it performs. Frame skip. What's this then? This feature allows the game to skip frames within the animation in order to display at a constant 60 frames per second. Hmm. Sounds like it'd be juddery. We'll give that a go in a sec. Advanced. Oh. Very high is your top setting there for texture quality. We've got high, medium, low. AA, we have... Mm, hang on. Off, FXAA, TAA... FXAA and TAA. Anastropic filtering. Yeah, 16 is your max. 8, 4, 2, off. Okay. Bloom high is the max setting. We've got medium, low, and off. Okay. Motion blur high is your top setting. Lighting. Ooh, we're on medium here. High is your top setting. Let's put it on high. Shadow quality. We're on high very high is your top setting and then you go down to off okay so we'll leave that on high shadow technique msm oh okay what's this one then percentage close filtering renders shadows faster but the edges of the shadows won't appear as smooth as they may be may appear more jagged okay so that's pcf which is that one msm movement shadow mapping does not render shadows as fast as when using PCF, but renders more complex, refined, and smoother shadows. Okay, so it's nicer, but slower. It's a fighting game. You need to keep your 60 frames per second. We'll, we'll leave it on looking bling at the moment, but we might change that over to the other one for speed. Okay, what we got here? The screen space reflections were on. Is it on and off? Yeah, just on and off. Normally quite taxing, that is, so if you're struggling with your GPU, I'd turn that off. Ambient occlusion, high is your top setting. Subsurface scattering, again high is your top setting, they're just high and low. Particle density, very high, all the way down to oh no, very low. So it goes from very low all the way to very high. Particle mode, particle mode, let's have a read then. This option toggle the processing of particle effects between the CPU and GPU. GPU. Depending on the relative power of the computer CPU and GPU, toggling this option will increase or decrease performance. That's tricky, isn't it? Seeing as your GPU is already going to be uh, very busy, that would have to be tested. See if we're running CPU maxed or not on this game. Okay. Accept changes. Now, this should change to the ultra wide display. Let's try it. Success, it didn't crash. Excellent. Okay, so we won't do that. That crashes it. Benchmark. Audio settings we've done. Online settings. Okay, what's that then? 
display QQS in match on and off and show ping okay handy I suppose let's benchmark let's see what happens when we benchmark would you like you should run benchmark to play online would you like to run it now yes go on then oh we're back to the uh, normal 16 by 9 screen again as it loads okay now bear in mind guys when you're looking at this um, ultra wide is obviously displaying a lot more pixels than a normal 16 by 9 screen so my frame rate will probably be lower than yours if you're on a uh, 1920 by 1080 display obviously for you guys that are running your you know uh, 144 uh, sort of refresh rate monitors and stuff like that and you've got very powerful cards such as GTX 1080s and stuff yeah go for it that looks nice that's not bad at all. It's immediately not looking better than PS4 Pro, but it is looking nice. Okay, so how are we coping then? It's using all 4 gigabytes of VRAM. The GPU is at 75%, so we're nowhere near. CPU, okay, that was a quick benchmark. CPU was only running at about two-thirds, so it doesn't look like a very taxing game. High performance is best for online experience. Average FPS 59, minimum minimum 7. I think that started recording that when it started to load the game as opposed to when it actually started. Okay, that's fair enough. So it's maxing out at 60. Can we not go above 60 frames per second then? I would say it's capped. In fact, this menu is running at 30 frames per second. Hmm... So one more quick look. No, I don't want to do that, do I? I didn't see anything regarding dynamic resolution, frame skip. No, there's nothing to go above 60 looking here. We've got 75 refresh on. I would say that's it. Okay, so let's see if it actually loads into a match without crashing. This will be fun. I'm not very good at fighting games. Let's load. Let's see how long it takes. I'm going to time this. Yeah, we're only on a beta. So if we just get a stopwatch up. See how long it takes. Starting it now. Connection. To Warner Brothers. Ugh. You know, I still can't play Arkham Knight to this day. It still crashes all the time on uh, my AMD system. I know it's not very good on any system, but you would have thought by now you'd be able to play it. Okay, I better restart the timer. I thought that was the only press I needed to do, so... Okay, go. I wonder how many people are actually playing this. Could be here for a while. I'm going to cut the video and skip back to when we start and let you know how long it took. Wow, that was quick. That, that was very quick. That was 32 seconds by my count. Ah, oh. okay, that player didn't pan out. Hmm. Let's try again. Okay, we've got, clearly got a problem here, guys, because I've been through five different opponents, all which sort of match within 30 seconds, and everyone says that the other player declined the match. Starting to doubt that. Maybe there's some sort of peer-to-peer -peer networking issue with this beta at the moment. So what I'm going to do is cancel out, and we're going to have a look at how low you can take the graphics because we know we're on max now we know it's not taxing i'd say anybody with a gtx 970 uh should be fine with this game in really high settings obviously if you've got some sort of amd card say r9280 or above you should be fine so if we take this all the way down um display settings no i keep pressing that it's the wrong one let's go to graphics here we go so what's the lowest res we can go I'll tell you what, we'll try 1080. Let's keep it native for pretty much everybody here. Yeah? We've got 50 hertz and 75 hertz. Okay, and then we'll go advanced. Texture quality down to low. Off. 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 So, yeah, it's going to pr look pretty poor, this is, but 
it will see you know just how many people can actually play the game see how much vram it uses so if you've got two gigabyte card you know are you gonna be able to play this let's, let's find out so i don't know what to do with that one to be honest it's not a taxing game by any means okay so accept changes yes okay so this is a boggo minimum that's benchmark 1.7 gigabytes of vram in the menu okay let's load this shouldn't take too long we're loading low res textures and everything here normal ram doesn't appear to use too much of it um while loading there Loading pretty quick, much quicker than obviously with all the high settings on. Yep, looking like a PS3 game. Yeah, it's still 60 frames per second, so clearly the game is locked at a maximum of 60. Uh, we are under 2 gigabytes of VRAM. We've got 1.9 gigabytes of VRAM, so a 2 gigabyte card should run this fine. Um, CPU, it's on idle to be honest, it's sort of 30-40% across the cores. Clearly very, very much designed with the consoles in mind using their weak CPUs, so this is a, a thoroughbred console port. Not a bad thing, it's still a good fighting game. But, you know, that, that really sort of covers it guys, that's everything this game has to offer. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. If this video has any help at all to you, deciding whether you're going to buy this game or not, or whether your computer will run this game or not, please give me a like on your way out. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.